covering a sports talk show covering football and professional wrestling. I'm your host, the Encyclopedia of Sports, Cool Hand Luke 96, and welcome back, college football. College football 150 started this past weekend. We had two games during week zero. That was Florida and Miami. The Gators defeated the Hurricanes by a score of 24 to 20, and then Hawaii defeated Arizona 45-38. But week one officially begins on Thursday night. August the 29th, and we'll run to Labor Day, September the 3rd, 2019. So, college football celebrating 150 years this year, NFL celebrating 100, so going to be historic seasons for both college and the NFL this year, and I'll have predictions week in and week out all season long, and this audio recording right now, this video right here on Gridiron Ring's YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, like, follow, and subscribe to Gridiron Ring and myself, Cool Luke 96 on social media. Links in the description below. This video is my week one predictions for college football in 2019 for the 150th season of college football. So now, without wasting any more time, let's get into my week one predictions for college football. 23 games I'm going to go over here in the next couple minutes. First, UCLA and Cincinnati. Chip Kelly going into his second season in Pasadena and will now have to start this season across the country versus the Cincinnati Bearcats. I honestly don't know who's going to win this game. In my opinion, it's a toss-up. Everyone right now uh, as well seems high uh, on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Why, I don't know. Uh, everybody's saying they're going to be the uh, best non-Power 5 school this year in 2019. I think that's going to be Boise State. Uh, so we'll have to see. I mean, that's why they play the games, obviously. But Cincinnati's going to host uh, Chip Kelly's UCLA Bruins on Thursday night. But, you know, sometimes it's good to be different, to go against the grain every once in a while. So give me the... UCLA Bruins over the Cincinnati Bearcats in my first college football game prediction during 2019. And now this upcoming weekend and all season long for both college and the NFL as well, I will be live streaming, doing live reactions play by play over on Periscope at Cohen Loop 96. So be sure to tune in and watch my live reactions play by play this upcoming weekend of Idaho and Penn State. I'll get to that game here in a second. Uh, but then all season long, as I said, as well. Next, Georgia Tech and Clemson. The defending national champion Clemson Tigers will open at home on Thursday night as well versus Georgia Tech on the new ACC network. Now, Georgia Tech, no more triple option for them as Paul Johnson has since retired. In my opinion, though, expect Georgia Tech to look a lot like Temple from the past couple years as Jeff Collins takes over down in Atlanta. But Clemson, in my opinion, they're just too good. Everyone, yeah, they're probably expecting Heisman favorite Trevor Lawrence to ball out on Thursday night, and he probably will. Don't get me wrong on that. But not as expected in the season opener but it'll still be enough to get the job done for the Tigers to be victorious over the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets so so far give me UCLA and Clemson Utah also plays at BYU this upcoming weekend as the Holy War will be kicking off the season for the first time ever Utah they've won eight straight in the series so make it nine but I think it will be close as seven of those eight games, seven of the last eight games, have been decided by less than a touchdown. Tulsa and Michigan State, the Spartans last year in their season opener, they had a close call versus Utah State, but not this year. I expect Michigan State to win big on Friday night at home. Another Big Ten team. They'll open the season in a non-conference game, except this game on the road for Wisconsin. They go to Tampa to play South Florida. 
So Badgers open the season on the road in a true road game for the first time since 2010. They also just named Jack Cohn their starting quarterback the other day to go along with one of my Heisman favorites, uh, running back Jonathan Taylor. I think it'll be close early. Uh, Charlie Strong will have South Florida ready to play. Uh, I think it'll be close early, but Taylor in Wisconsin will run away with the game and run away with the win down in the Sunshine State on Friday night. So give me the Wisconsin Badgers over the South Florida Bulls. Another Big Ten West team will open the season in a non-conference game on the road. Purdue will play at Nevada on Friday. Boilermakers, I think they could surprise a lot of people once again this year as Jeff Brom continues to build that program back up from the ground. Purdue really hasn't been relevant since Joe Tiller was there, and he retired about 10 years ago now, passed away a couple years ago too. Purdue, Jeff Brom, surprise team this year, I think. And Purdue, I think they'll win on Friday night against Nevada on the road because I think Nevada, really, they're going to need a larger wolf pack in order to win. Maybe call up Colin Kaepernick to come back and play for them since I heard he's still looking for a job. Purdue wins, but it will be close. Colorado State and Colorado will play in Denver once again on Friday night. Buffalo are bigger and stronger than Rams, so give me the Colorado Buffs to start the season off with a win. Florida Atlantic at Ohio State. The lane train will roll into Columbus to face the fresh look Buckeyes with Ryan Day now at the helm after Urban Meyer retired. I honestly don't know how Ohio State will look come Saturday, but I know they'll be fast and faster than the Owls of Florida Atlantic, OHIO. Ole Miss at Memphis, toss-up, could be the highest scoring game of the opening weekend, I believe, but since Memphis is playing at home, give me the Tigers. Duke, Alabama, and Atlanta. Bama will have this game won by halftime, so roll, tide, roll. Idaho at Penn State, first ever meeting between the Nittany Lions and Potato Farmers from Idaho. Actually, the Idaho Vandals, but Idaho Potato Farmers is what I'm going to call them this weekend, as Idaho will play Penn State, as I just mentioned, for the first time ever. Game is at 3.30, Penn State fans, on the Big Ten Network. Should be an interesting game, uh, as Sean Clifford, the Big Red Dog, as I like to call him, will get his first start at quarterback, replacing Trace McSorley. Penn State, though, they have won 25 of the last 28 home openers. I think they'll make it 26 of the last 29 for the NFL Rookie of the Year from last year, Saquon Barkley. I also heard Beaver Stadium will be serving some fresh cut fries after the Penn State victory Saturday evening. South Carolina and North Carolina in Charlotte. The last time Carolina defeated Cocky, last time UNC, North Carolina, don't want to confuse anyone, last time North Carolina defeated the Gamecocks from South Carolina was in 1991. Mac Brown was then in his first stint as Tar Heel head coach. Mac Brown now back once again as the North Carolina head coach. Carolina wins. North Carolina, that is. Northwestern at Stanford. Battle of the Brains. Two of the most smartest institutions in America. Stanford will win this game, though, because of a experienced quarterback, K.J. Costello. Now, if Clayton Thorson was still in Evanston with the Wildcats, might be a little different story there, I do believe. But since he's now in the NFL with the Eagles, backing up Carson Wentz, I think Stanford will win. Game will come down to the wire, but Stanford will end up being victorious. Virginia Tech and Boston College, early season ACC showdown in Chestnut Hill. But Boston College will win this early season ACC showdown behind the running game of A.J. Dillon. Boise State and Florida State and Jacksonville. 
The Seminoles last year did not go bowling for the first time in 36 years under first-year head coach Willie Taggart, who now enters his second season, who I believe is on the hot seat right now. Him and Clay Helton, if they don't win early, their seats are only going to get hotter. And with Boise State defeating Florida State on Saturday night, I do believe Willie Taggart and Florida State will be in for a very, very long season. And that seat will only get hotter for Willie Taggart as the weeks go by. So Boise State will defeat Florida State in Jacksonville on Saturday night. That game is at 7 o'clock on ESPN. Middle Tennessee State and Michigan. Could this finally be Michigan's year? We'll see. Michigan wins, though, come Saturday. They'll start off the season with a victory before hosting Army next weekend and then in a couple weeks getting into a Big Ten play. Oregon and Auburn in Arlington, Texas. Dallas, Jerry's World, home of the Dallas Cowboys. This is actually a rematch uh, of the 2011 BCS National Championship game, which Auburn won on a game-winning field goal 22-19. Oregon is now, though, 5-7 all-time versus the SEC, whereas Auburn is 9-3 versus the Pac-12, including a 6-0 record in neutral site games. This game being played away from both home college campuses for Oregon and Auburn. But this game, you can throw all those stats, all those records out the window because, in my opinion, Justin Herbert the Pervert will either win or lose this game for Oregon. We'll see if he made the right decision to come back for another year. But in the end, come Saturday night, this game is actually 7.30 on ABC. At the end of the night on Saturday, I think Oregon will be victors over the Auburn Tigers. Speaking of Tigers, Missouri, they'll play at Wyoming. Kelly Bryant, former Clemson Tiger quarterback, will get the start for Mizzou as he transferred out of Clemson last year and is now in Missouri with Missouri Tigers. Tigers, in my opinion, they're just too powerful for Craig Bull's Wyoming Cowboys. So give me Mizzou over Wyoming. Virginia at Pitt. Wahoo and eat shit Pitt. Don't really need to say any more couple more games here before I wrap it up. Thank you guys for the continued support and for listening to my College Football Week 1 predictions. Louisiana Tech at Texas. Texas, I think, will win a close one late before hosting LSU next week. They're just too powerful for the Bulldogs of Louisiana Tech. Speaking of Bulldogs, Fresno State will play at USC, and I think USC needs to be on upset alert. Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, as I just mentioned, in my opinion, will lose to the Texas Longhorns on Saturday night, but the Fresno State Bulldogs will go down to Los Angeles, and I do believe Fresno State will upset USC, which will put the first nail in the coffin, so to speak, of Clay Helton, who I think ultimately will get fired uh, before the season's end. Same thing goes for Willie Taggart, as I just said there. You know, if Clay Helton and USC don't win early, if Willie Taggart and Florida State don't win early, their seats are only going to get hotter, and you don't want to start the season off on the hot seat to begin with as it is. So, both Florida State and USC, I do have them both losing this weekend now that I look at it. Boise State over Florida State and Fresno State over USC. So really the first nail in the coffin for both Willie Tagger and now Clay Helton. As I think Boise State will defeat Florida State and Fresno State will upset USC. Boise State over Florida State, not going to be much of an upset. Fresno State over USC, though, would be the big upset of the weekend if it would happen. Fresno State coming off a huge year last year, 12-2, won the Mountain West, 
could surprise once again this year. And with a win to start off the year on the road at USC, can't get any better than that, can it? Houston at Oklahoma. Dana Holgerson takes over at Houston, leaving West Virginia, while Jalen Hurts transfers out of Alabama as he lost his starting job to to a Tungalavoa uh, to take over for last year's Heisman Trophy winner and the number one pick in the NFL draft this past year as well, Kyler Murray at Oklahoma. This game should be a good game. Could very well be high scoring as well. No defense will probably be played. Should be a good game come Sunday night. This game is on Sunday night. Got a game. Got games Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One game Sunday and then one game Monday as well. And we'll get to that here very, very shortly. But should be a good game. Houston, Oklahoma on Sunday night. But the thing is, Dana Holgerson never beat Oklahoma when he was at West Virginia. And I honestly don't see that changing come Sunday night, this upcoming weekend. So give me Oklahoma, say by a you know, touchdown and a half, maybe two touchdowns, so 10, 14 points. Oklahoma victorious over the Houston Cougars, though, in Dana Holgerson's first game. Now, if this was in Houston or even at a neutral site, you know, it might be a little bit different. They played a couple years ago uh, at a neutral site. It was still basically a home game, though, for Houston because it was in Houston NRG Stadium, home of the Texans. Uh, so... We'll see what happens. As I've said, that's why they play the games. But I think Oklahoma will win because they are playing at home in Norman. Notre Dame at Louisville. I really, really want to pick Louisville, but I just can't. I can't. I mean, the big matchup to watch is going to be the two quarterbacks, Ian Book and Jawan Pass. Ah, fuck it. Give me Louisville over Notre Dame. Give me Louisville to defeat Notre Dame, let's say on a game-winning field goal maybe, to close out week one of the 150th season of college football. So those are my college football week one predictions for 2019 for the 150th season of college football. NFL will start now next Thursday. Be sure to keep an eye out for my NFL preview for 2019 along with my NFL Week 1 predictions. If you haven't done so already, though, be sure to go check out my college football preview for 2019 as well. And be sure to tune in this upcoming weekend for live reactions play-by-play over on Periscope. And keep an eye out as well for my college football Week 2 predictions with a Week 1 recap. Whatever happens this upcoming weekend, I'll recap at the start of the Week 2 prediction video next week. And uh, as I had said there earlier, be sure to tune in on Periscope all season long for college and NFL football games. And if you haven't done so already as well, like, follow, and subscribe to Gridiron Ring and myself, Cool Hand Luke 96 on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit the thumbs up button, share this on social media as well, and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And take care, as OJ Simpson always ends with in his Twitter videos.